Welcome back to the Swing of the Month. And this month, um, I'd like to congratulate Thomas. Did an amazing job on his swing. Um, still on the finished article, and but huge changes, ball flight changes as well. So um, let's run through this and see if we can help you with a few insights that might might well um, uncover a few things for your swing. So Dom Thomas had a concept of very straight arms, trying to have a very very wide takeaway, and then not quite the right idea of how to shift weight. So the start position is very different. And this is kind of almost a bit too far behind the ball and, and the body positioned to the left or, or open for right handed golfer. And as we watch the swing here, we'll, we'll see the left side kind of shifting or moving away from the target, which combined with quite an upright posture, um, basically requires him to, to kind of dip and get over to try and hit the golf ball, which gives him quite a not very stable and, and efficient motion. So at the start of the downswing here, We'll see his upper body and his rib cage called dipping or getting lower toward the ground, which is going to make the club come in too vertical. So when when left sides become unstable, or the front side of a of a golf swing becomes unstable, it requires quite a few movements and adjustments to get back to the ball, which again becomes less consistent and um, really affects on how the club can come in. So as he as he comes down now, as he hits the ball. It's going to get like a jumping up or the, the the pelvis and everything raising up to try and make room for the club and it'll hit too much against his back leg because of how the club's club's coming in so he tend to fade slice the ball or pull it to the left and struggle with woods and a lack of distance so with the new swing we've worked on the start and set up a lot and, and the concept of what to do with the legs and being much stronger here then on the takeaway, again, a very different movement here. So he's moving things in a different different order or sequence. He's moving the club first rather than everything. And the body's far more stable. And then as he gets into the backswing, he'll coil here. So he'll turn in a different way. So now he's letting his kind of right pocket go back to create some depth in his, um, his right side or, or create some turn in that way. But his left side is, is, is stronger and he's behind the ball with his upper body, which is exactly what you want, rather than kind of in moving behind the ball with everything, which is a misconcept of, of, of weight shift. So then he's got to try and replace all that and get get down to the ball, which is which is where the verticalness comes in. So his new one when he comes in he can move forward better. He can hit more against his front leg and then he can start to come round through the shot in a lot more efficient way. Ok, as we look from the back here, very common common posture which is just too upright with the knees too flexed. It's a very kind of comfortable um, posture for most people. So this can cause problems in terms of the club direction and how the body can move. So from here, when you combine this with what he's trying to do with his arms, you take them very straight. The club actually goes in too much or too flat at this stage, which then when combined with the left knee collapsing, makes the club too too flat at the top of the swing. Now he's got to get the body back over, which is the, the change in the spine angle or, or the dipping movement. And now the club is, is very flat coming in here, which means now it's got to get more vertical. So now the club starts to get more vertical as it comes down at this stage, which is always bad news if you, uh, if you don't want to hit a phase. This is generally going to fade or pull the ball every time. So with the new one, key points were really being more over with the posture. As I mentioned, working, understanding how to work the legs and the and the left side correctly, and making sure the club doesn't roll in at the beginning of the swing, which is what you can see here. So then when he goes up in the swing, very different position compared to the original. So now the the, the angle of the club shaft or the or the shaft here isn't too flat, which means it can actually come down shallower or less vertical than it, than it went up like this, which is what you'd want if you want to be able to hit. Little draws, be good with your woods, and have quite an efficient strike. The key bits to take away from today with from Thomas's video, which he's, he's done a great job with, is um, if you notice your left side or your front side of your swing is, is quite unstable, then this will ha probably have some impact on the consistency and how the club can deliver. So that's something that that's worth looking at and um, understanding about. And then 
you know, so the key is always how you can stand at you start or you stand at the beginning of the swing, which makes a huge huge influence of um, the whole pattern or the whole movement.